Michael Moore suggests Trump lying about COVID-19 diagnosis. Trump faking it was my first reaction to the news but I truly doubt if too many people are involved for the ruse to stay intact especially with every journalist circling Walter Reed like a shark looking for scoops. Why wouldn't he be? He fakes everything else in his life because the message is far too off for what he has been peddling to his base. The shock and panic going on within the White House is actually showing in a lot of ways. The way they released Hicks' diagnosis cagely, the fact Trump hasn't been tweeting up a storm, the drip of new information all pointing to more and more of a serious infection? The steady denial and retractions as his condition deteriorates? Fine and I good spirits, then exhausted but in good spirits, then ex-fared to hospital but in good spirits. There is a lot more pointing to this actually happening than not. Look how his base still treats the issue of masks, they still believe it is a made-up hoax. Can you imagine how disjointed this is for them? The WH has everything they should need in order to treat the president. Them transferring him to Walter Reed is actually an indicative of them worrying about having to move him when, if he can't walk. You are giving the man far too much credit. I was in the, he's faking it, group. However, you do bring up some very good points. I guess we just have to wait and see. The video of him saying he's going to Walter Reed as a precaution was so strange. He was much paler, which actually looked much better than the orange glow, but he was so much more coherent than he normally is. I figure something serious has to be going on for him to speak so clearly. No more snorting Adderall till you're all better Mr. President. We've already had four presidential diaper changers quit and we're running out of poli sci interns willing to work for misprinted copies of The Art of the Deal and expired Trump states. They aren't expired, they are aged. I was suspicious of that video because it makes no specific mentions, nothing to indicate it wasn't pre-recorded, maybe even months ago. He made fun of Hillary for getting pneumonia, and staying in bed for him to go to any hospital over corona, I half expect him to keel over in which case, I won't even vote if the election comes down to Pence and Biden, I really won't give a damn. I agree with you, it looks very bad for Trump to be having COVID two days, after he and his whole family refused to wear face masks. They keep saying he's in good spirits. There's absolutely no way he is in good spirits right now even if he is doing okay. I would possibly believe it if they said he's grumpy about being in the hospital and at the media but he's doing well health-wise. I agree he isn't faking it. Trump's camp is all about political strategy. Saying he is sick goes too much against the strategy. You don't downplay COVID, flout not wearing a mask, making fun of Biden for being safe, and risk alienating the base you have been pandering it is, just a flu, too. I am purely looking at this from a re-election angle. Hard to hide something of this magnitude. If it comes out, he'd be even more screwed. In what way? When has being caught in a lie ever slowed down his momentum in any FKing way? He could just pop out in a few days and say the test was wrong and it was the flu. He never took the cocktail, they just had it available if he needed it. But since he has strong genes and the flu is worse than the virus, yada, yada. Skip the, mute, debate talk and no more white supremacy talk, problem solved. He had 8 grams dose. This scenario is far more likely than him lying about it in the first place. He literally gains nothing lying about it. I am sticking with the fake story and he comes out like sunshine. He beat the virus, Biden couldn't handle it, I now have immunity from it, Biden will die, you'll get Kamala, etc. I was agreeing with you. That's far more likely of a lie. He did very poorly on the debates and the tax story was also very bad for him. It could be a deflection to get out of doing more debates with Biden. I guess so, I honestly don't think he realizes he did poorly, that would require honest self-assessment lol. I mean, his taxes are of a comparable magnitude and he hid those for 20 years at least. Well taxes are between you and the IRS system. And according to HIPAA, test results are between you and your doctor. 
Not really supporting this conspiracy, I think it's dumb and a sad reflection of how thoroughly abused of the truth we've been as a society. Until you're a public figure, but granted that's an integrity thing, not a requirement. If that was true then the IRS would have had him and his daughter in jail already. Only after public interest does the IRS seem to get around to locking up rich folks. Not really comparable because a big part of his base don't mind that he's not paying taxes because they prob try to commit tax fraud too and it plays in their whole small government mentality where people should be more self-reliant, meaning they shouldn't have to finance a government. Faking an infection and going to the hospital is a different thing. But ultimately were exposed despite his efforts. The system is difficult to maneuver but those records are retrievable. Especially when you don't have one political party doing everything in their power to stop what is right. This comparison makes absolutely no sense. Lol, it's hard to hide that he is obese also but his doctor said he isn't so there's that. Actually, he just double down. He doesn't have to hide it. He doesn't even have to lie effectively about. His sheeple will follow this Pied Piper false prophecies like lemmings who willing jump of the cliff. Side note, are there enough metaphors and analogies in my post? I can never gauge that. Yeah, he wouldn't be doing it to keep the base but there are some softer evangelicals who may be swayed by him being sick. What is the worst if he gets found out, losing the election? This is the only thing he cares now. The presidency is the only thing protecting him from prosecution and debt collection. The negatives of him testing positive far outweigh the positives. A positive test may get him out of a debate or something but it highlights his hypocrisy like never before and only makes him look even more like an idiot. Even his supporters were face palming at the news. I am a mite worried about the rally around the flag effect that Boris Johnson got when he got COVID. It also did shit all for Bolsonaro so who knows. Because faking an illness isn't something someone that boasts of being in perfect health, the best genes would do. He doesn't want to be sympathized he wants to be admired. And he'll be admired by being so strong for beating the China flu that they attacked him with. That's not how Trump operates. He doesn't think two steps ahead and he can't follow a plan more than four hours. Why would he be lying about it 30 days out of an election? What would be the angle? Faking this cannot help him. It thrusts the virus right back into the headlines and he has failed so miserably. Now he can't hold his famous rallies. This is not good for him. I beat the China virus that the fake news and radical left are trying to scare you with and control you. It was barely a case of the sniffles. I'm so strong and had the most beautiful doctors to help me beat this radical left hoax. The herdochloroquine that the radical left tried to suppress helped me get better quickly but it was more how strong I am. Good point. Uh, I read that in his voice. He was airlifted to a hospital the day after testing positive and immediately started taking experimental treatments like remdesivir and the Regeneron antibody cocktail, neither of which are available to the general public. You don't take extreme measures like this for the flu, unless you're some kind of wimpy hypochondriac. That doesn't look strong. It's also worth noting that he also has his own private wing at Walter Reed and an army of doctors at his disposal. If he does recover quickly, that recovery will be tainted by the fact that he took advantage of medical care that no other American has access to. Joe Biden could definitely make the case that Trump might well not have survived if all he had was your standard HMO plan. Trump might be able to explain that away to his base, but not the rest of us. They kept it under wraps until he started to visibly show symptoms. It's the last thing they'd want to admit. I think more is wrong on this one. Or until a couple days after his disastrous debate performance and announcing a changing of the debate rules. Can't debate him. Can't get him drug tested. Can't get him tested for earpieces. Can't drop out of the next debate as that is what he find embarrassing. He can however, undergo treatment, for the evil radical left China virus, as a way of skipping the debate. Bonus points for him showing he's so strong, and the fake news is lying, about the dangers of COVID and it just, magically disappeared, from his body like he said all along.
If he was really sick he would not tell us because it is inconsistent with his messaging that he is in super good health. And invincible. It's a hoax. Fake news. Sad. Going to Walter Reed makes him look weak. Trump doesn't like looking weak. Nah he can't fake how many businesses he's bankrupted. Tell that to the banks who loan him millions. Yeah, but Trump's WH leaks almost as bad as his bladder. This orange virus is really fantastic. It's really great we are working on it. From Walter Reed Hospital. His normal is to be on the offensive, I doubt he has enough self-control to step back from active campaigning for two weeks. Further, so many senators are getting it, there might be an issue getting the Supreme Court nomination though. This makes me think it couldn't have been intentional. The only way to really know if he has COVID-19 is if he succumbs to COVID-19. And then he would have been truthful about at least one thing. Two arguments against this, a uh, doing this would be akin to playing some kind of 3D chess with an uncertain outcome which just isn't his style. He does very obvious power grabs, usually while accusing his opponents of doing it. B. I don't think he has the patience and discipline to be pretend sick for a reasonable amount of time. Real or not, what I know is that if Trump survives corona he is going to ramble about how it is not that bad and he has great genes blah blah and he has H-U-U-U-Y-G-E-E -E -E antibodies. I strongly agree. The one thing that gives me pause is that he tweeted 23 times or so October 1st and only twice October 2nd. I feel like it wouldn't make any sense to fake having COVID. Wouldn't it make him look worse considering how much he has downplayed it all year? If anything I would think he would have gotten it and then tried to have the fact that he had it. Really? How many people do you think get to be close to him? National Security. This administration has so little credibility it's disgusting. They've lied so much. The lie is when he tested positive. The piece of shit lied about it, and continued going to events. He might be faking it so that he can magically recover and be like C. It's all basically nothing. Ahem. The local military bases changed security about a day before it all went public, which indicates to me that whatever the administration may want people to think, the United States federal government has actual concerns. I think he never would have exposed himself with a helicopter ride to the hospital were it not true. Couldn't happen to a more appropriate guy. I just can't picture any benefit in lying about Corona his QAnon conspiracist don't believe he has it and thinks he's about to go full coup but the rest of his followers are a bit shocked he has it, he either looks weak by getting sick or weak by getting better and having done nothing even if he is skipping his debates he's f asterisk 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 ed himself if he's lied about his diagnosis. Trump has no need to lie about it. Why would you risk a lie to something that gives you no real benefit apart from told you so points? If someone were to lie about it, so then he could say he overcame COVID, it would be Biden. He looked rather weak in the debate, Trump stepped all over him and the moderator which ended up looking shaken, altered and bullied. If he had COVID people would forget all about it and the narrative could change to, I am strong, I survived, instead of we are going to change the rules so Biden has a chance in the next debate. I mean it is possible. But then a lot of other White House staff caught the virus and got tested positive too, so it might be a real infection. That said, Trump's admin has lied so frequently and reliably about everything over the years, that it's now impossible to trust anything they say. So it could legitimately be either. Yes exactly, if it was only Trump, I'd think it was fishy, but new cases keep popping up some are speculating it may affect the SCOT US nomination now that some GOP senators who attended the Rose Garden event have gotten it. There's no way they'd risk losing out on that opportunity if it wasn't real. I am surprisingly not wishing any ill will on Trump, but I'm hoping with all my might this stops the SCOT US appointment. I think RBG is pulling some strings up there to get her way. That'll teach anyone from disobeying her final wish. This is RBG's scathing rebuttal before the court of God. If anyone could compel God himself to act on their behest it would be RBG. This would make a great movie hash m.night.shamalan.
the GOP will conveniently not see this as a sign from God. Except COVID in general is an act of God, and nobody's fault. We never could have predicted or prevented this is what they will say. S. Well dang that's brilliant. I'll bet Santa is watching too. Krampus adding new spikes to his paddle this year. Don't you threaten me with a good time. You're dyslexic? As in Satan right? Yes, and I'd say there's an equal chance Loki, Kikaha, Kagan, Kamiho, Yuha, and Anansi are gathered around the popcorn bowl with him, chortling at the antics below. God handed down a per curiam opinion on the issue of Trump the Earth, time's up. Back off whatever gods may be. The living are not done with Trump's sorry as just yet. Death by COVID is too kind. I never said Trump was going to die, just that his luck has run out. His financial failures have been aired for the world to see, his political party is crumbling, and now he is afflicted with the very disease he mocked for months. If that isn't some form of divine intervention, I don't know what is. Moscow Mitch will not let the vote not happen. He would personally drag each senator from their hospitals if he needed to. Or just to put icing on this hypocritical cake, he might let them mail in their vote. I'm at least hoping Trump realizes the severity of his actions regarding the pandemic after this. Of course, he'll probably just say, see? I survived. It's not that bad. If only we had a real president. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And if you are new, subscribe and click on the bell icon.